So do you have a tennis ball car stop in your garage and you want to avoid this? Or do you not have one at all and you want to avoid this? Okay, so here are some of the items you'll need on this project. I've doubled, doubled everything because I'm going to do both cars, both uh, sides of the garage here. Uh, you'll need your tennis balls, your eyelets to screw into the tennis ball, your eyelets to screw into the ceiling, some string. I'm using a carabiner and I'll show you where this comes in later. And you don't have to use rubber bands. You may or may not have to. If you have a deep garage, you'll need this to take up some of the slack or you'll end up breaking your string. And I'll also show you that later. So these are the items you'll need for your, the project. With the rubber band, you'll need something to tie your string to. I used a lock washer. Uh, you could use a regular lock wa or a regular washer, but I used a lock washer because it's a little more rounded. But um, so you'd run your string through the lock washer instead of tying it directly to the to the rubber band. Because once you tie a knot in that, you may break the rubber band or at least weaken it. So yeah, so anything for an eyelet on the rubber band would work just something to run your string through. One of the first things I would do is park your cars in the garage the way that you would like, like them to be. Personally, I have no reason to get behind my cars, so I just keep them as close as possible to the uh, garage door. And then you'll want to, with each car, you'll want to measure off your back wall to the center of your your windshield somewhere somewhere in the middle here and it doesn't have to be exact but you'll want some kind of number to go off of so that you can transfer it up to your ceiling I made a mark up here to screw this eyelet in and looks like right here is my mark. Should be able to start this by hand. If not, you can uh, use a drill bit. Now that I have the eyelets in the ceiling, one there and one over here, you want to come over here to your arm on your, I call it the arm, but it's what uh, is connected to your drive to bring your door up. And usually there's holes here. There's uh, several holes. And what I'm going to do is take this along with the rubber bands and the carabiner. And I'm just gonna pick this highest one. So you have this basically. And then that's, that's gonna, you're gonna take each one of these and run the string over to your eyelets.
So once you've ran your string through your eyelets, you can let the string hang. I tied a heavy nut off to these. And then it'll look like this when you tie your string to your rubber bands. Like I said earlier, I don't know if you'll need the rubber band, but I'm going to show you uh, why you may need it. But there's the carabiner and the strings run out to each eyelet. Next is the tennis balls and you'll want to run your eyelet. Push your eyelet through and I had to save time. I already, I already poked a hole, but I just wiggle it back and forth until it started. And you want to run that in there until you're out of threads on that eyelet. So that's it. I mean, it's pretty strong. You can always run a bigger eyelet in if it uh, strips out. All right, so I'm about ready to pull the cars in, and I just tied this to one ball to get it out of the way of the cars when it when it pulls in. If you have somebody to help you, this is where you would uh, want to ask them to hold that string out as you pull the car in. But I just rigged it up so that uh, it would be out of my way with both cars so I can get them in here. And then we'll adjust them to the windshields. Once you get your cars pulled in and they're set exactly where you want them, the next part is to adjust your ball on your windshield. And I'll show you what I do. There's probably a number of different ways you could do this, but all I do is I hold it here in a loop. And when it touches, I take a marker and mark across. Mark across the strings so that I know that when I get those lined up, I have to tie my knot in between those two. Oops, out of focus, but it's like that. Okay, now that I've trimmed my string, you can see the two marks, the mark I made across the strings when it was in a loop. So I have a knot started and I have my eyelet in between those two marks. You just bring that down. And tie it. And I just put like three knots in it. Oop. Okay, so then if you lay that on the windshield, should be very close. You can see I'm a little off, but that just means I'm going to pull forward another half inch, maybe, before I touch the windshield. And when you pull in, touch the windshield, you park it. All right, I have the tennis balls adjusted. I would suggest throwing a couple more knots in it after you've adjusted them the way you want them. So they are just sitting on your windshield. It doesn't matter where. I mean, it's halfway up is what we're shooting for, but anywhere you can see the tennis ball is where you, you'll want it as you pull in. So here's what happens when we close the garage door. Okay, so here's where the rubber bands come in, come into play here. So if you were a little bit deeper, and I'm almost to the point where I would need those rubber bands. I think I'm actually using a little bit on, the, on this side. If you were a little bit deeper though, you would, if you come back here and you look at this, it looks like this one stretched just a little bit. Uh, it took up some of the, you know, some of the slack, I guess, so you didn't uh, rip the rope, the string off. And they don't have to be, you know, if you're super deep in your garage, you may want to double up on some rubber bands, but that's just to get it tight to the ceiling. 
So if we lower this back down, you know, when you get home from getting groceries, you're pulling in, your ball's dropping, and you're gonna pull up, park against the uh, the ball. And like, like if you're like me, uh, in the winter time especially, I'll pull the vehicles out and I'll work in the garage and I'll get, you know, my benches out here in the middle of the garage and I don't want these balls hanging here. So this is a good way just to get, you know, and you don't want the kids playing with it, you don't want the dog playing with it. So it's a good way to get the balls up out of the way. So if you enjoyed this video and uh, found this video helpful, Please subscribe and give us a like and we appreciate it. Thank you.